We really need a doctor here. I don't mind if it is a South African or what, as long as it is a doctor. <laughs> The problem with Zanzibar is that there's few doctors. So when I first arrived here, it was kind of a big mess. Patients who were in the wards hadn't been seen for months by a doctor. I had patients who were admitted for like six months in TB ward who hadn't been seen because there was no doctor available to, to see them. You feel very sad, eh? You feel sad, but you also feel energized because you know that I'm here now and I can mean something for these patients. So it is a, a mixed feeling. We need doctors, the patients are sick, and we need doctors to come and cure the patients, but also to train the nurses. I came to Zanzibar with the expectations of learning. Um, initially, I didn't think I was getting that, but I think with Dr. Mallison arriving here and then I started doing ward rounds with her. I started being um, around her and stuff. So Dr. Mallison taught me quite a lot. No hospital could function without a doctor. And at this point, Zanzibar Hospital has only got foreign doctors. I think they're the core of the hospital because it wouldn't be a hospital anymore without them. Foreign qualified doctors are a critical piece of the puzzle at the moment. Without the support of Atlantic Philanthropies, it wouldn't be possible to focus our activities and target certain areas, especially in human resources and health in South Africa. Part of a good placement is definitely transference of skills. A good skills mix will allow foreign qualified doctors to impart skills, especially to other doctors, but also nursing staff. They're so determined when they get out here, and it's contagious, screen. and that kind of spirit lasts long after they leave. Oh, maybe, maybe 60. In Holy Cross, I used to run the, the HIV clinic, so I worked a lot with the head nurse there. And she learned a lot from me and she's running the whole unit now on her own because also Holy Cross has difficulties with getting doctors and there's no doctor now to run the HIV unit. And the funny thing is now when she meets um, other nurses in, in, in meetings about HIV and, and, and the treatment, she tells those nurses what they should do. Yeah, I got a text message uh, a few weeks ago of a patient who said to me, Doc, I want to thank you because I was almost dead and now I'm fine and my baby is fine. Thank you. <laughs>